I am finishing the Cheshire Stripe Sock today and I wanted to show you a couple tips before I finish it up and take pictures of it. All club members will be getting this sock uh, in the next couple days. I'm almost finished with it and I'll just tell you about it. I love the whole concept of scrappy socks but I do not enjoy weaving in ends. So I came up with this version of my own where I take four colors and I start with color A and I alternate color A and B for a narrow stripe here and then I only have that end to weave in and then from there I move into a bigger stripe sequence of color B and C and I will finish it up down here at the bottom where the toe is with stripes C and D one of these C with my fourth color and I have a minimal amount of ends to weave in so the tips I want to share with you are whenever you knit stripes you will have a jog going around uh, when you change your set into the second color and that's happening because you're spiraling upward and there's just really no way to avoid it there is a little trick that I'm going to show you today that will help with that that will minimize it um, I will show you that and I also want to show you how to um, not have ladders going up your side when you change color, when you um, change needles. To avoid a ladder when you are crossing needles, um, there's a real easy trick that you can do. You go ahead and you knit that first stitch. But before you pull your yarn, tail back here. You insert the tip into the second stitch and that's when you give it a little tug. By inserting it into the second stitch that prevents it you from pulling it too far which will pucker it. And then you continue knitting on. And every time you cross needles you can try that trick whether you are doing circulars or double point needles it works for all and the little trick I want to show you for the jogs because you will get that jog no matter what you do uh, this just will minimize it a little bit when you you go ahead and you knit the first row in your new color but before you knit the second row, you slip the first stitch and then you proceed with your knitting. And that just pulls that stitch up a little bit, this first stitch up a little bit, which minimalizes the jog. Um, I will show you over here. straight. This is mine right here and you can see it a little bit but it's not nearly as bad as it could have been and with blocking I'll be able to tug that a little bit and that will help it too. But those are my two sock tips and I hope they help you let me know if they do. Uh, I'd like to hear back from you. Happy knitting, and I really hope you enjoy this sock pattern.